Hanover's historic center. The city wants to make sure its visitors and tourists don't miss a single site or attraction. That's why they came up with this little red line. It runs four kilometers through the city, guiding you to 36 of its most important sites, including plenty of examples of Hanover's royal splendor. This city was a seat of royal power for more than 200 years, home to the later kings of Hanover from one of Europe's oldest noble families. This was supposed to be their new palace, but the King of Hanover was stripped of power by the Prussians in 1866 and never got to move in. Instead, the palace remained empty for 10 years until a university took over the building. Hanover's Opera House is another example of royal architecture. The king wanted to locate the building in what was then the city center, and the architects had to fight hard to get their project on its outskirts approved. But in the end, Hanover grew and developed around the Opera House. Hanover continued to grow in size and splendor under Prussian rule too. From the cupola, visitors have a panoramic view of the city. Right in the heart of Hanover, the man-made Marschsee Lake is one of Hanover's many green oases. The city boasts that it's Germany's greenest. The George Garden Landscape Park is an example of this. Visitors taking a stroll through the Royal Gardens are transported back to the 17th century. The Große Garten was the centerpiece of the elector's summer residence. It was envisioned and realized by Electress Sophia of Hanover, who wanted to create a kind of outdoor ballroom. The central focus of the garden is this fountain, which shoots water 80 meters into the sky. And don't leave the Royal Gardens without seeing the grotto designed by Niki de saint -Fal. Here the artist has created a magical world made up of colorful mosaics. Once controversial, the Nana sculptures are now an integral part of the city. Hanover has been investing in public art since the 70s. Of course, there's indoor art too, like the August Kestner Museum. It houses antiquities, including pieces from ancient Egypt, as well as examples of modern design. The Sprengel Museum focuses on contemporary and classic art. The world-renowned museum features up to 25 temporary exhibitions every year. Hanover blends royal splendor, green retreats, and a rich cultural heritage to make it a great place to live and visit. <laughs>